Hello everybody, it's Vogue at Pop. Let's, um, there's some stuff I want to show you. I, uh, last night, so I recorded and then that night I was showing a friend who hadn't seen the game, you know, what it was about. Uh, there's some stuff I have found that I want to show you guys. So we're gonna, that last round we were doing, we're just gonna ditch that. And I, it was brought to my embarrassing information that that room I was going, it's a four room, we gotta find the four room, it's part of the code. That And I, I kind of thought about that looking at it, but I, I thought it'd also be a room. Is that uh, that like four room image is uh, that's just a key card. That's all that is. That might be all that is. So let's. Um, so the thing I wanted to show you, there's a couple things I want to show you. So the first one I'll show you. I did not shoot the. Dog. Okay. So, where was it? I think it's here. Is it here? No, it's here. So I was trying to show someone what happens when you jump off the stage. And when I did it, I saw there's a staircase right here that you can go down into. I think the demon, the demon dog's behind this door. But if we go here, there's a little frisbee and you can get it and it says good doggies are good doggies. As, as far as I know, that doesn't do anything and you can, you can actually open this door now. The dog should be coming in. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh. There he was. So something uh, my friend brought up, because he has played this and... Uh, hold on a second. That doesn't... Oh no, that is right. You can't go back. So one thing he brought up, and I haven't been able to really definitively prove it yet, is this dog and the demon dog are the same dog. And I have yet to manage to get both of them on the screen at the same time. There's that dog. I'm not 100% on that theory, but... I mean, I know they have to be the same dog, because if you shoot this dog, that dog dies. So that's one thing I found I wanted to show you. So let's do a new game. Just keep playing when I'm too young to die, because there's more I found. The more I found, the more I've been told. And I'm going to be completely, you know, 100% clear with you. When I've, when I've been told something, I'm going to let you know. So, like, those stairs I found on accident. That was just... But one thing is, if you... Before anything else, this I was told about. There's a chainsaw in here. If you do anything, as far as I'm aware, before getting that chainsaw, when you look in here, it'll be a, uh, it'll, there'll be like a little outline for where a chainsaw is. So let's just real quick. Take a lot of damage with it, but it goes zzz. So there's more I want to show you in this phase of my house. So let's just we do this and this guy shows up. I mean the bright side is the chainsaw, I think 1v1, I don't think people can touch you. Yeah, they get stuck in that animation of getting sliced to ribbons. So what we're gonna do, and I can't believe I've never done this. I need to be careful. I'm going to die if I keep this up, but I do want to use the chance I can see. So, in what can only be described as a hilarious case of whoopsie daisies. So, like, you go down here. This is all down. Yeah, so it's really good against guys like that. But like when there's two guys, you get shot. There's our yellow room. This guy's in here. We'll send him to the shadow room. Get the health kit. So I'm just clearing the house. So both times we've gone through here, I, I need to check the mic with the morning. So both times we've gone through here, I've gone out here. I've either I either went out on my own or I saw that, and I went out to go get it. And when you do that, you trigger the first house change. So. What I'm going to do is not go back outside. So we have the yellow key. So 
So yellow door's in no, not here. Not in here. There's the red door, so it's this room. Go in here. Oh, no, I'm mixing things up, aren't I? I'm getting mixed up. Yellow key's downstairs. Did I do that already? Did I get the red key? So go in here. Yellow door. Okay, we have the red. So what you can actually do is go... So every time we've gone to the attic, there's actually been an attic. Well, if you don't go outside, you can just get the blue key. And when you have that, you can just leave. And beat the level. And that's that. So, uh, that was a fun little thing I didn't get because every time I've gone outside and gotten the house to phase two. So, yeah, that's just uh, something you can notice. You can't just beat the level normally if you don't go to the back to what I'm calling the grave. I asked my buddy if he knew what it's actually supposed to be, and he said, I don't know. So, I assume it's a grave. Um, I've also been told there is a chance, based on what we do, that when we beat that second level, we get something. But we're going to go ahead and beat the second level because it does give us one thing that's important. It'll give us the uh, the super shotgun, which is just nice to have. I'm going to go ahead and swap to a shotgun. because So we're just going to beat this again one more time. I could just reset, but... There's one, and we've done this before, so we kind of know what we're doing. Is it this way? Oh no, you hit the button and you go back out. The switch is going to be gone. And I will say, uh, I'm a little more comfortable with the game just because now I know what the game is. I know the Doom engine a little bit better. And, uh,. Okay, so now we have the super shotgun, which is really all we needed for this level, but just swap back to the... No, we don't need the chainsaw. So, yeah, I've been given some hints on what to do by my buddy, and, you know, he didn't say, like, do this. He didn't... I didn't get any of that. So, if you think, like, oh, he looked up everything to do, uh, there's not that. It, or that's not the case. I promise. This is still a, a faithfully blind thing. Because really the only thing... I'm just going to go ahead and hop down. Because I remember last time I got this shit beat out of me hiding in that little window frame. It's not like a bunch of dudes come from over there, I think. Isn't that right? There it is. Guess it was, uh, who shot me? Oh, okay. Don't have a flashlight, so. His health gets in there, too. Is that me? Growl. Um, but, you know, I, I've learned a little bit more about Doom 2 and all that, so I've learned there's, there's limits on what he can really get away with. And I could still get scared shitless by, like, monsters poofing into existence, but... Come back here. That's what's growling. So I think now we go back. Now he's he's just about a shot as me, so. Oh, and now we have the. No, where, where did we need the key card here? Yeah. That opens that. Which opens this. I need the blue key to open that door. I need a blue key. Yeah, there's the dude in the corner to help. Oh, that's right. These blow up. What are you doing again? Okay. 
I want to get in the cool way. Okay, now I got the blue key card. Now we can just go. Alright, there's the underhaul spot. Oh, I got 100% of the kills. Good for me. Okay, back to my house. But so, what I learned was this is just how the thing works. This isn't like a different version of the house. I'm gonna real quick save and call this uh, house with super shotgun. Okay, so there's two things I want to investigate. What are they? Let me remember. As I do my laps. Um, the first is the mirrors. The, it's the mirrors and the attic. So to get the mirrors to be mirrors and to get the attic to be the attic, I need to get to the house in the second phase. So before it's like hell, but after the uh, the initial phase. So I don't know if the chainsaw would be in there. I'm gonna go ahead and try and show you uh, what happens once you start doing stuff. So like if I go in here and I kill like this room. I really think it might even be as soon as you open the doors to the house. I'm not gonna bother to test that. Oh, also one thing I noticed, I'll, I'll check it out in phase two, but in phase two, once you uh, change the house, this becomes an Xbox, which is, the other things I've noticed is that uh, painting doesn't appear until phase two, and then of course the doors change and all that again. So let's go back out here. So now, see now if you look here, instead of the chainsaw, there's an outline of like someone else got the chainsaw. So let's go ahead and clear the house again. So we get this and this guy shows up and becomes a X human. So like right here the mirrors are blank. We have to go to phase two to make the mirrors something. And the other hint I've been told is quote unquote for the good ending, because there are multiple endings, I need to figure stuff out in the house before I burn it down. So that's where the the majority of my attention is gonna be is trying to do everything I can before we go full terribleness for the house. Um, I'll probably load an old save where I kill the dog and see what ending you get when you kill the dog. Okay. That's probably the worst way to do that. But where's the, where's the just clear in the house. Way out here, can I see the blue? Oh, you can. Okay. So my, I can't prove it, but I think that is supposed to be a grave, and the blue skull is supposed to be your friend's ghost. Okay. So it looks like the house is clear. So we're gonna go outside. Let me. Make a quick save. You save house one empty. So now, if I ever need a save or I want to explore this phase more, I can do that with all the enemies dead. Let's hop outside, and then I think as soon as we do that, everything is respawned, right? Yeah, so that's the trigger because we go outside and then this. So now we're in phase two of the house where there's windows on the bottom. I do want to look in here and see if there's anything I can see. So yeah, the things to explore now, I don't know if the sky has changed, I haven't looked at that. I don't think it has. So the things to explore now are, let me do another quick save. Uh, save game, house phase two. Yeah, also I think that shows up then. So my buddy phrased it in a way that makes more sense. It's not the house is changing, it's when we do that, it's time is moving forward. So this is the house later. Which is why, like, the the house is a little more worn, I think. The chainsaw still. Okay, so let's get back in there and kill everything again. Clear the house so it's easy for me to do my evil. 
So yeah, see, now it's an Xbox. <clears throat> and now the, the painting is here. I don't know why my, my finger got a little stuck there. There he goes. Oh yeah, the minigun. Okay, and then there's the mirrors, which still scare me. I'm gonna clear out the house and then I'm gonna start exploring stuff. Oh, this is the super shotgun. Nothing in there. Because of the nightmares we know, it's the it's the attic. And the mirrors are ones we haven't found that I at least have a, a method of accessing. But basically the big thing is we need to avoid going behind the bookcase and triggering the next time skip, which is when... I called it hell, my buddy called it the house catches on fire. But the house burns down. So we'll, uh, we'll avoid that if we can. I'm really not going to like this mirror stuff. It's going to fuck out. I think there's... No, there's nothing there anymore. Alright, let's get the yellow key. The red key. Now we can go to the attic. Okay, so let's do a save. Another save. So I'm gonna put house phase two empty. We're at 17 minutes, so let's just stare in the mirror for a second. Let's see if I can make anything happen. You know, that's something I haven't thought about, is looking in the mirror and seeing if there's anything in the mirror that's not here. So maybe that's what it is. So thinking on that, that makes me think it'd be like, which mirror would that be? So like in here. That's the ducky. It looks like nothing in that mirror. There's a couple of mirrors. So. There's somebody. Wait a minute. There he was. That was it. That was the thing. Look. There's a guy in the mirror. Is there a guy there? No. Okay. So that's, that's the mirror. What we're gonna do with that, I don't know, but that's that's the mirror where there's the other. So this is it. Can I go in? No. Maybe that's just a glitch and it's showing this guy is not dead. That's the only thing I can think of. But we are at 20 minutes, so I'm going to have to stop here. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, I think next time we will, uh, I'll probably go to the attic. I'm going to try something with it. That mirror may be a glitch. It may be the mirror just shows what it originally saw. And at that, like the original load in, it could see that there's a guy there. I'm not sure. That might be a glitch. Or maybe everything. You know? You never know. But. 
I'm gonna today. I think you all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play My House. Dot I feel like I'm talking. Hope you have a great day. Bye, everybody.